one in every two women and one in every four men over the age of 50 are going to break a bone due to osteoporosis, according to the National Osteoporosis Foundation. And by 2020, half of people over the age of 50 are going to have low bone mineral density or osteoporosis. My name is Katie Rines, I'm a registered dietitian. I'm here to tell you how to improve your bone mineral density, improve your calcium utilization very effectively. Three-month clinical trial indicated that consumption of prunes daily significantly increased bone formation. Grapes have been shown to significantly improve calcium absorption and retention. As you can see, the grape line is significantly higher. Prunes improve microstructure of bone after losses have already occurred. Fibers in plant foods like beans have been shown to have preventative effects in osteopenia in mice. Isoflavones in soy probably have beneficial effects on bone health in menopausal women. Flaxseed flour decreased fat cells and improved bone quality. Consumption of almonds is associated with increased bone mineral density. In comparing prunes and apples, they both improved bone bone mineral density. Consumption of fruits and vegetables is beneficial to bone health. Kiwi affected blood lipid and bone markers positively. Pomegranate is clinically effective on a depressive state and bone loss in menopausal women. Exercise significantly reduces fracture risk in individuals with osteoporosis. Try jumping up and down daily to conserve bone mineral and to prevent osteopenia and osteoporosis. Here is a comparison of skim milk to a few common foods eaten on a whole foods plant-based diet. First of all, resistance training is a very important component in preventing and reversing osteoporosis. Bone is able to form and it will form due to impact. So things like jumping and resistance exercise are really important. Number two, eat more plant foods, more antioxidants, and decrease animal foods and animal protein. Be sure to incorporate a wide variety of colors on your plate. Incorporate low oxalate vegetables as well, like collard greens and kale. Also, be sure to get in the sun at least 10 minutes every single day, direct sunlight onto your skin so that you can produce that vitamin D that we need to absorb calcium. If we aren't getting any sunlight living in the Northeast where it's super cloudy and dark and we're covered in clothes all day, I do recommend a vegan vitamin D supplement Lastly, eat less sodium. Sodium does affect our ability to use calcium effectively. All right, people, there has never been a more important time in history to transition to a whole foods, plant-based diet. We still have professionals recommending animal foods and animal products and promoting animal ag agriculture. However, that's not what the research is showing for an optimal environment or to achieve optimal health. It's up to us. It doesn't matter how old you are. It's up to you. What is one thing that you can do to make a change in the positive direction? I know that you can do it. We're in this together. It's up to us to really be our own heroes here. Take charge of your life, of your health. It is in your hands. You can control it. Take a deep breath. I wish you the very best. Please reach out to me if there's anything I can do for you. And have a wonderful life. Have fun exercising, get in the sun, and eat a beautiful array of plant foods that you love. Have a good one. Keep in touch. Bye.